I, I knew, I loved him. He used to write me all these letters. This is my baggie of letters. Met at Del Campo High School. I was a sophomore, he was a senior. One of our friends introduced us and we just went from there. He asked me to homecoming my sophomore year. My parents were not huge fans that he was older than I was. He was 18, I was 15. That first date when he picked me up for homecoming, they wrote down his license plate number, the VIN number, his driver's license, his parents' names and numbers and addresses, because they were like, we're gonna come after you. And my mom said when she looked back at those pictures of us getting ready in the boutonniere and the corsage that she, she knew that I was gonna marry him. We kind of hit it off after that. We stayed together. He left for the military, dropped him off at the airport. I went with his family and he handed me a letter and I didn't read it till I got in the car and he had, it was this big poem about, oh look at that, when he's here with me he hears wedding bells and it was the sweetest thing that an 18 year old guy could possibly do for a 15 year old girl, you know, but I still have that, I love it, <laughs> I'll never get rid of it. When he came back we just kind of picked right up where he left off, got married in 2008. Beautiful, love my life, that makes me happy. He hasn't changed much. He's gotten a little more sarcastic over the years. We have three boys, Dylan, Quinn, and Jackson. So they're a handful. <laughs> but my feelings for him have never changed. I, like I said, I've been in love with him since I was 15. This is our, our SJ, SJ love, love story. story.